echocardiograms, they are something else. Um, <laughs> I'm used to it. I just hop up on the table, take my shirt off, lay down. And at my doctor's office, they have puppies up on the ceiling for me to look at. So I sit there, <laughs> I, I count the puppies and I name them. And that takes the time away. Um, I, now that I'm older, I actually start looking at the, the machine so I can try to see what's going on, try to learn something. I really don't like echocardiograms, and I don't think I ever will. Or EKGs, I, I dread my cardiologist visit. I just think it's so uncomfortable and so like, what are you doing to me? Like I, he takes a picture like up around the neck, and he, like, when he like, pushes it, yeah. so it like, yeah. squeezes out your throat. Yeah, it, just, it just hurts. I don't really remember like my first echocardiograms. Like I don't, I remember my mom talking about them. I remember the cardiologist I had at first was absolutely horrendous like said that there was nothing absolutely nothing wrong with my heart I had microvalve prolapse and I have SVT so I was passing out there was something wrong with my heart <laughs> but like even now like I'm used to them I tried to look at the monitor and <laughs> I, it looks like gibberish to yeah. me like that uh, oh cool I like I like now they have colors <laughs> that's really awesome I remember I remember when they first had colors I thought that was awesome but like I'm used to it but I, there's still every single time I go into the car that was there's always, even though they've told me like now, like they keep like stretching out the amount of time that I can go between my next visits. It, there's still like that, like we always like my whole family like holds their breath until <laughs> after my appointment. Like we're all like terrified because it's obviously like, well, well, it's great that they have open heart surgery, but you never no, want it. No matter how old I get, I'm always gonna be nervous. Like going into the room, it's always dark. He has his machine sitting in the corner. I just feel like I'm nervous no matter what. Like. And then it's uncomfortable too. Like he makes me get on my side so he can go under my ribs. Uh, I mean, I'm getting used to it, but I'm always gonna be nervous when I do it, no matter what. I don't know why you guys talk about cold drum. I mean, I, my office heats it up. So. Oh man. Well, that's good. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna ask for that next time. <laughs> I think it's it's really cool. Kind of even though it's kind of hard to to decipher and to see the heart and see what it is, it's still kind of cool to see your heart in action and, and know what you're taking your medicine for. I think it helps, you know, seeing it and seeing how, how it's doing and getting feedback so that you feel like taking your medicine is, is doing something and is helping. You know, I, I think it's always great news when the doctor, after the consultation, the doctor says that, you know, the fact that I'm taking medicine can spare me, can really help me and, and avoid horrible things happening. I think it, it's really, it motivates me to keep taking it.